Hi all, in the earlier videos we talked about natural language processing tasks using the transformers library of Hugging Face. We used it for text classification, for text generation and various other natural language processing tasks. In this particular video, we are going to discuss about image generation using another library of Hugging Face which is Diffusers. We are going to use the stable diffusion model and generate images using prompts. We shall understand step by step how we can create these images, what are the various pipelines that are available with the diffusers library, the diffusion pipeline. Let us first understand what is the diffusers library. So diffusers library is the basically the library for state of the art pre-trained diffusion models for generating images, audio and even 3D structures of molecules. Whether we want to simply inference the solution, generate images or want to fine tune our own models, Diffusers library enables us to do this whole. Okay, let us quickly head over to our notebook environment and talk about how we can create images. Okay, so basically in this notebook we are going to generate images using text props. We shall see the various diffusion pipelines for tasks such as text to image, image to image, text to music and the primary components of the diffusion pipeline. So we shall also understand what the diffusion pipeline is. So basically diffusion pipeline takes in a random noise or an image and tries to predict the residual of that image or that noise. And then there is another component known as scheduler which tries to predict the actual image from the residual. Okay. So this way it, the whole architecture works and we'll see them in, in a meanwhile. Okay. Step by step let us first understand we need to first import the two libraries. We need to install diffusers and transformers because we are going to use stable diffusion and convert our text prompt into an image. Okay, so the way these things work is the text prompt is first used, uh, the tokenizer is used to first convert the text prompt into an embedding, and then finally the diffusion pipeline is used to convert that embedding into an image output. Okay, so we we are using the collab environment with T4 GPU. I shall share this notebook with you along with the video so that you can replicate this and play it around. Okay, check it in the description. So once we have these libraries installed, next we go ahead and import the stable diffusion pipeline from our diffusers library. We are also importing matplotlib and torch. Okay, currently the torch version that we have here is 2.0.1 with CUDA enabled since we are using the GPU environment. If you are not using a GPU based environment, if you are using only a CPU based environment, then the inference might take longer. Okay, So it is advisable to use a GPU environment here. Basically a 6 GB, a GPU with 6 GB of VRAM is sufficient in order to run them efficiently. Okay, uh, What happened here? Let me just check. No module. Okay, we haven't installed it here. Let me quickly install them. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to select a model ID just as we were doing for other tasks with natural language processing in Hugging Face. So we create a model ID, we select a model ID from Hugging Face Hub. You can have your own models if you have them locally, you can provide the path as well. Next, stable diffusion pipeline dot from pre trained we pass the model ID and set the type of the output. So torch dot float 16. So this will uh, create, this has various va variants depending on the size that we are taking into consideration. Okay, let me quickly head over to the model section and show you how do we select the various model IDs. So under the model section in multimodal, we have text to image. We select the text to image. Under libraries, we select the diffusers because we are going to use a diffusers library. So we have the list of 7,623 models that are available with Hugging Face Hub that can be directly used. So stability AI text to image generation stable diffusion X1 model. Here we are using dreamlike art diffusion model. So you'll f let me sort them based on the most downloads. Okay, so you see there are various models here, right? You can choose any model depending on your requirements, depending on the various use case and play around. Okay. So these are some of the images generated using this uh, stable diffusion vers Excel version one model. Okay. And this is the basically the pipeline, the base model, which is the unit model. The prompt is passed to this transformer model, which generates the embedding. This embedding is converted into 128 cross 128 latent, uh, basically a latent output. And 
pass to the unit model and the finally the to scheduler to get a desired image output okay this is generated by stability ai Ho hope this is making sense to you and you are able to follow so far let me quickly load this up we are loading everything to cuda see pipe equal to pipe dot to cuda because we want to move it to the gpu environment it's getting frozen just give me a second yeah okay now we have a prompt like dream like heart dream like art is a type of art that we want to generate a grungy woman with rainbow hair traveling between dimensions dynamic pose happy soft eyes and narrow chin extreme bokeh dainty figure long hair straight down so basically we are defining as detailed as your prompt is you will get uh, as good a result because the more you leave it for imagination the less clearer output or the less the output would not be as you desire so try to provide as much detail as you can within your prompt basically the description the looks that you want to the background of the image that you would like if there are any specific color choices okay let me know in the comments if you want me to create a separate video on how to write prompts effectively for these stable diffusion models we can cover them separately okay so here now we need to call is pipe pass the prompt dot images zero basically there are multiple images that are generated of which we are selecting the image with the highest probability let us see what the output would be like i already ran this notebook earlier i just want to show you how things are working so i'm rerunning it here okay see th this loads very fast because we are using a gpu environment here if you're running this on a cpu environment it might take several minutes and see this is the image that is generated right the image uh, of a dainty figure a grungy woman with rainbow hair so all these details are captured effectively well in this stable diffusion model basically dream like model uh, let me search for dream like model i don't remember exactly it is a model fine tuned on stable diffusion yeah model based on stable diffusion 1.5 right see okay so hope this is making sense we have another prompt example here the prompt is of goddess goddess durga coming down from the heaven with a weapon in one hand and other hand in the pose of blessing anger and divine energy reflecting from her eyes says in the form of a soldier and savior so basically we are providing this prompt and the image generated using this prompt is as this okay so you can play around with the various prompts you can create images as you like now next thing we will see here is and very important thing is the various pipelines that are available within the diffusion pipeline okay so under the pipeline section let me go to the overview basically all the pipelines that we have available are built from the base diffusion pipeline class and this diffusion pipeline class consists of two components one is the unit model and the other is the scheduler okay each of these have a separate uh, use a separate uh, objective we'll talk about it in a in a while okay just follow the various pipelines so for example you can see here various pipelines all diffusion attend to excite audio diffusion okay let me show you some specific examples of the diffusion pipeline this diffusion pipeline denoising diffusion probabilistic models basically converts a random noise which is in the form of an image of the size same as the output image okay it converts a random noise into an image let me see if there is an example it has two components unit and the scheduler okay uh, it doesn't have an image output example here but you can play around see there is a code given here you can load this pipeline as ddpm pipeline dot from tree train and from the model section you can go ahead and select the ddpm models okay next i will show you a music ldm let me show you this music ldm okay so music ldm is basically used to generate text to music so you see how effectively using these pipelines you can create any kind of content such as text when we are using the transformers library or you can use this diffusers library to generate images from text image to image generation text to music generation so you can create audios as well and this is very easy and very simple to use all you need to go around and play with the various prompts how how to effectively write prompts there that is one of the important components effectively if you want to use the various components and fine tune them then you can also use auto train we covered auto train in a separate lecture i'll attach the link in the i link above as well as in the description check them after watching this video okay 
So here we use the stable diffusion pipeline. The stable diffusion pipeline is an image text to image generation pipeline. It was generated, uh, de developed by engineers from Compiz, Stability AI and Leon. It is publicly available. Okay, so you can use it freely. It is trained on 512 plot 512 images. So the output would be basically a 512 plus 512 image. There are additional pipelines, stable diffusion 2, stable diffusion XL. Then there is an image to image generation pipeline. Okay, so just go around and play with these, right? Explore what is available there. I'll attach the link to these. I'll share these links as well in the description. Make sure you watch them. Make sure you play around with them and share your results in the comments below. Okay, it, it, it really makes it very engaging to know what you're developing, how you're developing and how quickly you're adapting to the various developments in this generative AI space. Okay. Okay, now the last thing that we need to discuss here is relating to the two primary components of the diffusion pipeline. So from the high level overview of the diffusion models or any diffusion pipeline, there are two components. First is a unit model. There could be various variants of unit models such as unit 2D or very other various other unit models. And second is a scheduler. So the unit model basically takes a noisy image or random noise that is of the size of the output image. Okay. And then what it tries to do, it tries to predict the noise residual. Okay. It filters out the noise from that, uh, ran that image. Okay. And the role of the scheduler is to take that residual and convert it back to an image. And this process is iterated until uh, the max number of iterations are reached. Max number of iterations is a parameter that we specify for any given pipeline. Okay, so in this way, we generate the images using any specific diffusion pipeline. On top of it, if you are using specific pipelines such as stable diffusion that converts a text into an image. So you, we have additional components such as the tokenizer to convert this prompt into a corresponding embedding. So this is how this entire pipeline works. Hope you understood how to generate images from text and understood the various pipelines in diffusion in diffusion diffusers. Okay, you would be able to now create your own images by passing various prompts, play around with it and hope you learned something new. If you like the content, make sure to give it, give it a thumbs up. See you in the next lecture. Have a nice day. Bye bye. Jai Hind.